Muhurta Matrimony. No registration charges and no premium packages. Select profiles you like and just pay 25 rupees per profile. Download Muhurta Matrimony from the Play Store. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today spoke of the center's new farm laws and the advantages they brought. PM Modi said that the agricultural reforms in the past few days have also now opened new doors of possibilities for our farmers in his monthly radio address Mann ki Baat. He said after a lot of deliberation, the Parliament of India gave a legal form to the agricultural reforms. These reforms have not only served to unshackle our farmers but have also given them new rights and opportunities. A day after Home Minister Amit Shah reached out to protesters, thousands of farmers continue to camp in and around Delhi as they protest against centre's contentious agriculture laws enters fourth day. A meeting is being held to hold discussions to deliberate upon the future course of action. Amit Shah said the centre will hold talks with agitating farmers' unions on December 3rd, and if they want to hold discussions before that, they must shift to Burari ground in Delhi and not block roads. Union Home Minister Amit Shah landed at Begumpet Airport in Hyderabad on Sunday for his road show ahead of the Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation elections. Shah offered prayers at the Bhagya Lakshmi Temple in Old City in Hyderabad. He was given a warm welcome by BJP leaders on his arrival at the Hyderabad airport. Coronavirus cases in India are steadily on the rise with 41,810 new infections in the last 24 hours, taking the total tally to 93,92,919. There were 496 deaths recorded in the last 24 hours. There are over 4.53 lakh active cases in the country, while over 42,000 people recovered from the deadly disease in the last 24 hours, taking the total recoveries to over 88 lakhs. Kerala reported the highest number of cases among all states in the last 24 hours with 6,250 infections. The most affected state remains Maharashtra with over 18 lakh infections. In one of the bloodiest attacks targeting Afghan forces in recent months, a suicide car bomber struck an army base in Afghanistan on Sunday, killing at least 26 security personnel. The attack occurred on the outskirts of Ghazni, which has witnessed regular fighting between Taliban and the government forces.